Beyond Burger, plant-based burger patties. And that is exactly what it looks like. I didn't know that color can actually be produced in nature, but apparently it can. Two patties for five dollars re retail. It was um, twenty percent off, so it's uh, four dollars a package. They refrigerate right next to the sausage and the beef burgers and the ground lamb. So, let's see the details on this. Water, the inside of peas, canola oil, which is not my favorite thing, coconut oil, rice protein, dry yeast, cocoa butter, multicellular methyl cellulose which contains 2% or less of potato starch salt potassium chloride beet juice apple extract which I've never heard about pomegranate Sunflower oil, vinegar, lemon juice, vitamins and minerals, sounds good, zinc, B3, and right here, peas are ligamase. People with severe allergies to ligamase such as peanuts, should be cautious when introducing pea protein into their diet. If this thing is as dangerous as peanuts, why make it? I don't know. Marketing crash. It's not me. Let's see if we can jack the price up. Guess what? Beef is just as high as this is. Anyway, cautious when introducing pea protein into their diet because of the possibility of a pea allergy. <coughs> okay, so after that big huge paragraph in bold letters, it also says contains no peanuts or tree nuts whatsoever. All right. Manufactured for Beyond Meat Incorporated. California, of course, who would come up with this, but California, Beyond Meat, Beyond Meat Team, okay, so this is only a new product, as of 2021, all these claims were made on 80-20 ground beef, keep refrigerated and use within three days of opening, do not Refreeze, though. <coughs> Who would cook it and then try to refreeze it? Thaw in the refrigerator before cooking. Consume within 10 days after thawing. And I can only cook it on the grill or a skillet. Not recommended for microwaving, boiling, or deep frying. It might not be a bad thing if it fell apart. Because all it says is this, 35% saturated fat, less than a four ounce patty of 80-20 ground beef, 20 grams of protein, no soy, no gluten, and those are in big huge letters. So I basically just spent $5 on a half a pound of pea protein. Alright, fair enough. I will admit this, if I ate this stuff without cooking it, I probably would not feel bad about it because it does not say anything about raw meat protein. So, 
Yep. This is the evolution of the veggie burger in 2022. That was after two minutes on one side, three minutes on the other, so I did flip it. And you can basically see the pea protein in the middle. So it is basically vegetable oil, coconut oil, and sunflower oil, and canola oil. To form that into a patty shape. Now I do taste the pea protein, I don't mind that. But if I was expecting it to fry and become more rigid, it's not going to happen. Five minutes. And I'm perfectly happy with it. Is that worth five dollars? No, I wish they could actually reduce the price to make it come down in price. Lamb is about seven dollars, ground beef is six fifty, and this is five dollars. And what do I have? I have pea protein. And I have at least one to three types of vegetable oil to form it all into a meatloaf like shape. Why did I say meatloaf? Because it tastes like peas, but it also tastes like meatloaf in a family meal. Would I buy it again? Yes. Only if my family had restrictions, which needed those restrictions to be met. Is it a good vegetarian option? Yes. Peas may be beans, but peas are also vegetables, so it doesn't have any meat in it. And I would buy it again. Current price, $5 at a local grocery store. And for anybody who's made it this far, in a product review of Beyond Beef Pea Protein Burgers, I will see everybody next time.